Hi, and welcome to another uh, episode in the series on borrowing VAT. One of the questions we get quite a lot um, from companies actually in Bahrain when they, they ask about, well, what tax code do we charge when we sell to other GCC countries? Uh, and actually from both um, companies in uh, Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, asking, well, you know, what tax do I charge to Bahrain? At the moment, um, you would treat Bahrain as any other um, international com- uh, country. So if you are uh, selling into Bahrain from another GCC country, the tax is exactly the same as it is now, it's by zero rated. And if you're selling from Bahrain to any of the other GCC countries, you're treated just as if you're selling to the USA or the UK, for example, it's still gonna be zero rated. Now, what will potentially happen though, what's planned to happen is that there will be a creation of a customs union between the GCC countries, or certainly uh, most of those GCC countries. And when that customs union is created, what it will allow is um, something very, very similar to the European um, customs union and trade within those uh, six GCC countries or those countries that sign up to the customs union. So um, it may potentially just be the United Arab Emirates and uh, Saudi Arabia initially, and then they will bring in Bahrain and then so forth, the other countries will will join. Um, When that happens, then there will be a different treatment on the tax highly likely to be zero rated still, um, and then the, the country that is making the purchase will then have to self-assess or reverse that tax, but the, um, uh, the reporting behind that will be different. However, that is not set up at this time. So anybody who's thinking, okay, what do we need to do? Um, our, our advice and what we have done is that we've actually created all of the logic, all of the structure to handle um, the, uh, the tax for the GCC. We've based that on the, the European uh, logic. Um, but um, you don't actually have to have any special tax codes at this time. So make sure you don't uh, set your solution up, as we see with a lot of other companies, they've set the solution up without that consideration, and then when that customs union does come in, they're gonna have to change all of their tax uh, set up. So if you can make an allowance for that, if you, if you look at, for example, the European model, make allowance for an intra-GCC solution, um, but at this point, you don't actually have to have any special tax codes, and you'll be good to go. So thank you and join us in our next uh, episode.